Well, and here's some more propaganda for you. You know what I'm saying? You know William Shatner? Yeah, of Captain Kirk. You know what I'm saying? Ninety at ninety years old, <laughs> he's supposed to have went to space. Let me tell you something for all you space enthusiastic people out there. I'll let you know exactly what's up there. I'll tell you exactly what's up there. I tell you exactly why you cannot go up there. The reason why you cannot go up there is the same way you cannot go to the bottom of the ocean. You see? It's because the Lord made it that way. And if you want to know what's up there, all you have to do is look in that book called the Bible. Because that book called the Bible, well, the book of Enoch, well, the, the book that they, you know, the Dead Sea, sea Scrolls. Not the Red Sea Scrolls, like um, Gabrielle Union said. Gabrielle Union said the Red Sea Scrolls. No, I'm talking about the Dead Sea Scrolls. You know the Dead Sea Scrolls? When you read that and you read the book of Enoch, it'll tell you about the illuminaries of the heavens. You know who the illuminaries are? That's what you call planets. What you call planets are actual angels. <laughs> See, uh, and so and all you have to do is read. We too busy reading all these other books and don't mean that don't mean nothing. But they still want to put up, put out the propaganda that you know what I'm saying it's still people going to space. I'm gonna play this audio. I'm gonna before I play this audio, I would like you like to let you know that this is fair use. This is fair use, people. Fair use. Let me go ahead and play the audio, and um, yeah. Go ahead and play the audio, people. All right. William Shatner traveled to space every week on Star Trek. Well, today he did it in real life. This is so cool. At age 90, Shatner became the oldest person. More than 50 years ago as Captain Kirk, William Shatner. More than 50 years ago, you notice that? They had to put that 50 in there. More than 50 years ago, you know what I'm saying, as Captain Kirk, you know what I'm saying, 50, that represents a circle of life. Him being 90, you know what I'm saying, he's a circle of life. You know what I'm saying, more than 50, 50 also represents Jubilee. You know what I'm saying, as a star of Captain Kirk, where they said he went travel to space daily, as Captain Kirk, but he said now he's doing it in real life. Let's go ahead and hear this. Her travel to space every week on Star Trek. Well, today he did it in real life. This is so cool. At age 90, Shatner became the oldest person to make into space. He blasted off from the desert in West Texas on board a rock. The oldest person to make it in space. You know, this is all for lucky people. You know that, right? Ain't, ain't nobody making it in space, you know what I'm saying? Because if they was making it in space, you know what they would do? They would make it where they can film it. They would make it where, you know what I'm saying? They can film it. You can actually touch something, you know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, people. They make everything else. You know what I'm saying? This this is all fake. This, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, people. If you can, if they can make it into space, they would have made it into space back when Nimrod, that Ethiopian called Nimrod, was building the Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel would have been completed if they would, if they could make it into space. You see? But see, these um, space programs and these leaders of these space programs, they just trying to finish what Nimrod has started. Don't you know that you know, this whole earth worships Nimrod as well? Anyway, let me go ahead and press play. Filled by Jeff Bezos' company, Blue Origin. The trip was just over 10 minutes. The crew experienced three minutes of zero gravity before falling back to Earth. Shatner got emotional after he... So he said the crew experienced three minutes with zero gravity. He's 90 years old. Three minutes. So 
the zero don't count. So you put 93 together and 39, 93, 93 forward, 39 in reverse. You know what I'm saying? It represents time. It's time for what? It's time for William Shatner over 50 years. Time for a change. So what type of change is this? What is this? This part of the new world order now? This, this is what this is a new world order agenda that you guys are pulling off here. Jeff Bezos, huh? This is a new world order. That's that's what it is. Jeff Bezos landed and spoke with Bezos. What you have given me is the most profound experience that I can have. I'm so filled with emotion about what just happened. I, I just, it's extraordinary, extraordinary. Wow, Bezos, he's a huge Star Trek fan. And you are filled with emotion for so-called going into heaven, experiencing no gravity for three minutes. This is all ritual, people. Ain't nobody went up to no damn uh, uh, the heavens, because that's what it is. That's a that the see space is a it's a it's a type of heaven. You know what I'm saying? There's three heavens. There's one, two, three, there's three heavens. The third heaven is where the most high sit at. You know what I'm saying? And, and then the 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 second heaven is what you call space. That's why they try so hard to get up there. And let me tell you something. Like I said, the the planets that you see are really angels. You know what I'm saying? So, and like I said, yeah, you know, and, and and I'm not making this up. I got all this out of the scriptures. The scriptures explain it exactly. The the luminaries, you know what I'm saying, the Archangel Gabriel, the yeah, Gabriel was showing this to Enoch, the luminaries of the heavens. So you know what I'm saying? So if you wanna if you wanna know something was true, just go into the scriptures. It'll let you know. Shatner wrote free as his invited guest. This is the cool part. As a favor to Bezos, Shatner brought with him some Star Trek memorabilia Bezos made oh, when he true. was nine. Yeah. That's very cool. Nice. Mine so, is so Shatner brought with him some Star Trek memorabilia that he was playing with when he was nine. So, so William William Shatner, ninety. And over 50 years, you, you see these numbers? Three minutes or seconds without gravity. And then Jeff Bezos has some Star Trek memorabilia when he was nine. Nine represents the existence of God. Like I told you guys. 50 represents the circle of life, means new beginning, new, you know what I'm saying, new surroundings, new, new, means new, you know what I'm saying, and three represents energy, you know what I'm saying, and why did they do this, to lie to the people, making you guys think that they went into the second heaven, huh. anyway, this is news, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. God bless you.